Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person, love tarot reading. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay, Sag? Um, and also stick with me till the end. I'm going to go through uh, Aries to Pisces and see what zodiac sign you're dealing with and what's going on. So stick around till the end. And also, please subscribe to my channel and please like this uh, video to help me circulate it. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. All right, so Sag, I'm laughing because of the card that came out. I was channeling your energy and I feel like some kind of big secret came out or you caught somebody in a big lie and now you're really feeling like it's time to walk away. Um, I was laughing because not for you, like you're just realizing. I'm hearing that song uh, by The Weeknd, Secrets, um, like catching you in lies. Look up the lyrics. I hear you talking in your sleep. Um, or secrets that you keep, whatever. Um, so you have not for you loyal heart and a change in the wind. I feel like you're really just like, this isn't for me. I want someone who's loyal, who's there, who has my back, who's going to be faithful. And I feel like you're doing things to change it up a bit here. Um, fire signs this week, a lot of like making big changes in your life. Um, and not putting up with anything anymore. You're really standing your ground uh, when it comes to love and what you want and the respect you deserve uh, and the loyalty, right? So uh, let's see your person's overall energy. What's going on? Never-ending story. Yeah, they can't keep their story straight, I feel like. You caught them in a big lie. Um, they might be like self-sabotaging or do this to themselves a lot, co-create. They want some kind of new beginning, they could be kind of like tuning or turning within and trying to follow their intuition, but I feel like, I don't know, that never-ending story. It's like they keep having um, false promises or, or keep trying to restart a relationship or connection and they keep screwing it up. I feel like uh, underlying energy, why? There could be a lot of questions here. Why does this keep happening? Why did this happen? Why did this person lie to me? Why, why, why? I feel like you're kind of searching for answers right now or your person is. All right, let's get into it. So current energy is for your person. Uh, Sag, keep in mind that this could be your energy when I say your person's. Uh, it is general, so feel free to flip-flop and reverse it, and same to you, cross-watcher, okay? But again, don't force anything to fit. So starting off with Page of Pentacles and Knight of Wands, there you are. I do feel like this person was a player, though. I feel like they only offered, like, a small amount of stability here. It wasn't very strong. It was very um, immature or... Uh, not what you deserve, okay? There could be an age difference, too, between the two of you, for some of you. All right, what else? What else? Current energies. Current energies. They may have only been able to offer you a little bit because I feel like they just weren't uh, stable enough. Yeah, there's that tower. They caused the tower moment, scorpionic energy, and you walked away. They could have walked away from you. They could have wreaked havoc on this. I'm screwing up my words. Wreaked havoc on this connection and then like left you in the dust to pick up the pieces and walked away without giving you closure or a reason why they did what they did. Okay. Um, so I feel like the universe kind of stepped in and was like, all right, we're going to shake this up a bit because Sag is probably not where they're supposed to be and secrets came out scorpio pisces energy with the high priestess your person kept secrets or were telling lies they were being a player and it all came crashing down yep the world could be living at a distance it could have been a long distance connection for some of you or this is a chapter closing because this person was juggling it could have been a karmic cycle going on here all right, let's see blockages, blockages for Sagittarius and their person, blockages. 
Yep, four of wands, the 1111, make a wish, twin flame, soulmate, next level of commitment, a reason to celebrate, something to do with house and home. This, and it's a blockage. This person could not level up in this connection. They could have been giving to two. Things were extremely unbalanced with that six of pentacles. It wasn't equal give and take at all. Yep, there's that new start in love. Ace of Cups being blocked. Communication being blocked. A wish fulfillment being blocked. Things moving forward. Being on the same page. Having the same wants, goals, dreams, desires. Building towards the same thing. All of that's being blocked here. Yep, someone could have had... Um, like overindulged, drinking, partying, addiction of some sort, could have overindulged on something. All right. Uh, a lot of blockages, though. You guys just weren't, you weren't aligning. You weren't on the same page. You wanted different things, Sag. I feel like you wanted more of like solid, loyal commitment, and they weren't there yet. All right. Uh, let's see. How do they truly feel about you, Sag? Keep in mind, uh, this is their feelings or their uh, perception. It may not be the truth, but it's their truth. Okay, so Six of Wands. They feel like um, they could have victory and success with you, or they feel like you get a lot of attention. And there's conflict about that. Yeah, you abandoned this. You... <laughs> They, they weren't making you happy, and you abandoned this Leo energy here with the sun. You're going after your own victory and success here now, I feel like. You could have people putting you in the spotlight. There's that fool Aries energy. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could see you taking a leap of faith towards an earth sign. Or towards something that's offering more stability. So how I'm seeing it is like they're coming off as a page of pentacles. And what you're really trying to go after is a king of pentacles. Okay. Someone who is grounded, um, abundant, solid, loyal, long-term, hardworking, puts in the work and effort. Things are balanced. Things are very grounded. And I feel like you're, this person sees you like not happy with them and completely abandoning it after, after whatever happened, after this tower moment. And you're going after complete stability. Yeah, you're trying to fulfill your wishes. All right, let's see. Potential outcome. What's the potential outcome? <laughs> King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Judgment. Ooh. Scorpio, double Scorpio. <sighs> Sag, you could be reconciling with a Scorpio, someone from the past, or someone who there's a lot of emotions with. Because this truth, clarity, lies came out. You're not getting, you're not making yourself stuck in this anymore. Ooh, you could be going back to somebody from your past that maybe it just was bad timing or didn't work out. Ten of Wands in reverse. You have, okay, you have somebody I feel like coming back from your past where that connection never closed out. You always thought about them. They always thought of you. I feel like it ended because of a bad timing situation, not because of anything really bad. Um, and I feel like you're going towards that. Let's see what else. Potential outcome. Yeah, you're making a, a really big decision here. Wow. Again, <laughs> you're not going to feel stuck in something. You really want this two of cups, this equal exchange of love, this soulmate bond. Moving on to calmer waters and ten of pentacles. You want long-term leveling up, long-term commitment, solid. And I feel like there's someone here that you know can offer you that and give that to you. You may have had children with this person or had some kind of family dynamic with them in the past. Um, I feel like you were always stuck on this person. 
even though it didn't work out at that time and you move forward and you ended up in this situation or whatever, I feel like you're going back to somebody, not them. Unless, I mean, if Scorpio. Yeah. Expect communication to come through. I feel like that person is better suited for you. It's going to be a, a new beginning here, a new cycle. Wow. All right. Biggest obstacles, possibilities. So looking at the big picture here, um, Sagittarius, I feel like that's the obstacle is to look at the big picture and see what can you change or what's the what, like what's your highest good in this connection. Okay, this this going back to this other connection. Slow down, tune in, trust your intuition, trust this process, whatever this is. I know this situation hurt, but they couldn't give you what you wanted. There's someone here who can. You know who this person is. I feel like it's a water sign, but it could just be somebody where there was a lot of emotion between the two of you. And this was some kind of a karmic lesson. Whoever this is that caused this tower, that was a karmic lesson. This other person, I feel, is like a, a soulmate. All right, let's see. What else? What else for Sagittarius? What else? All right, sacred space. Altar prayer candles. Commune with your own divinity. Yeah, really tune in and listen and pause. In action, calmness. Step back. Wait for the sign. You could be seeing signs, synchronicities, um, vibration. You and this other person, you guys, I feel like you're vibrating at the same level. You're more in alignment with each other. And I feel like you're also um, communicating in the 5D like in your dream states or your higher selves have been, it's a soulmate bond, this other person. All right, self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So really focus on you right now, Sag. The golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Yes. That's what was happening here. It was very one-sided. Uh, not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call person, boundaries. You're still upset about this. Of course you are. I mean, who wouldn't be? You're not dealing with this anymore. You're just not. All right. Sagittarius dealing with Aries, going through Aries to Pisces. What's going on? Sagittarius dealing with icy. Uh, <laughs> Aries. Sagittarius dealing with Aries. All right. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to enter in the, I can't talk, into the 10K subscriber giveaway. Uh, and don't forget to hit that like button for me to help circulate this. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. All right. If you're dealing with an Aries, uh, I feel like Aries feels very stuck, possibly non-committal uh when it comes to you because they feel like they'd end up being stuck or trapped and there's something to do with divine timing all right taurus dealing with a taurus taurus is watching you social media again stuck energy taurus is stuck too feeling like their hands are tied but they're watching you all right gemini sagittarius dealing with gemini gemini wants to move things into calmer waters Possibly uh, step forward, take action when it comes towards you. There could be a pregnancy or some kind of fertile new beginning, abundant new beginning here. I feel like they see you as uh, a loving, caring, nurturing person, and they really want to take a stand and move things into calmer waters. All right. Dealing with a cancer. What's going on? Cancer may have ghosted or went quiet. They're very slow moving. Um, I feel like they might be going through some kind of an awakening or trying to figure out what they want. There could have been too many people involved, so they pulled their energy back. All right, Leo, Sagittarius dealing with Leo, Sagittarius dealing with Leo. Ooh, this could be a soulmate bond with Leo. What else with Leo? What else with Leo? 
Yeah, Leo wants things to move forward with you. They feel like it's a very strong soulmate bond. If they walked away, they don't want to walk away. Or if you walked away, they don't want you to. All right, Virgo. Sag dealing with Virgo. Sag dealing with Virgo. All right. I feel like there's a lot of attraction, passion, chemistry going on. I feel like things will... Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, definitely a lot of attraction and passion going on. I feel like there's a, an equal amount of attraction and passion here. Um, but one of you might be a little bit of a player or not completely in balance with this or have some kind of a choice to make in love. All right, Libra. Sagittarius dealing with Libra. What's Libra? What's going on with Libra? Libra wants to reconcile this and bring this back into balance. Scorpio. Sagittarius dealing with Scorpio. Scorpio could be... Scorpio is trying to decide if they want to take a leap of faith in this connection. There's definitely something from the past with a Scorpio going on here, you guys. And now they're trying to decide, should I, shouldn't I go back to my Sagittarius? All right, Sagittarius dealing with Sagittarius. Um, I feel like Sagittarius wants to stay single or really work on their independence and their long-term uh, goals, commitment, stability. Um, possibly with an earth sign. All right, Capricorn. Ooh, Capricorn, I feel like you are a wish come true to a Capricorn, and I feel like there's something, again, with divine timing, or they're really trying to be patient here when it comes to you. But you, you are a wish come true to a Capricorn. All right, Aquarius, dealing with an Aquarius. Sagittarius, dealing with Aquarius. I feel like Aquarius put you in third party situations to make themselves happy and you walked away. All right, Pisces. Pisces wants to talk. What does Pisces want to talk about? Some kind of choice in love. Yeah. Uh, Someone, one of you could have ghosted and now they want to talk and there's some kind of a choice in love. I feel like Pisces feels like you're their soulmate or there's a strong connection going on there after some time apart. So um, expect to hear from Pisces. All right, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you this week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, it's all in the description box below. Love and light. Take care.